Welcome back to the 185 reef tank. Um, today what we're going to do is do a PAR meter reading um, of the LEDs. Um, as if you remember, uh, these are dimmable drivers. So currently what I have these drivers set at, the whites and the blues, I currently have them set at 7.5 volts. They can go all the way up to 9, but uh, um, I started them out at 4.5 and you know, max is 9. So um, this is the whites, this is the blues over there. And what we will do is we'll just do what I've been running my LEDs at for the past couple months here and see what kind of par readings we will get. Um, you'll see this tape here. This tape is labeled from one inch, two inch, blah, 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 all the way down to 42, which is basically sand bed. Now I read on a forum somewhere that you want your sand bed to read it <clears throat> at least 100 par uh, and everything else above, you know, will grow differently or accordingly, but uh, if I'm wrong or if I'm right, I don't know, but that's just kind of what I was told or what I heard. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand off the camera and start giving you measurements with this. And after this, we will do a uh, high noon blast with, with, those, with the uh, middle row of LEDs that are off right now. We will turn those on, and then we will see what kind of readings we get with that on. So, one second while I hand the camera off. We are using a quantum meter. This is with a little photosymmetric photo photon flux, sorry. But currently, approximately, if we leave this two to three inches below, is it showing up? It's not showing up. It's about 700. 750 par if we leave this about two inches from the LED. It's too hard for me to tell if it's can read the number or not. I'll just yell it out. Um, and then we will go approximately 10 inches down and it's reading about 400. What are you even recording? You can either record this or this. About 400 about 10 inches below the LEDs. Currently my LEDs from here to the water is 14 inches. I've kept it at that height so I can get my head in there, get my arms down in there and do what we gotta do. But if we go just below the surface, we end up with a par of 300. And that is about 14 inches from the the LEDs to the water. Now, go to my first coral here, and this, oops, my arm is blocking it. I'm gonna go around the block here. <coughs> We're at my first coral here, to the top of the rocks. My par reading is about 230. Okay, and this thing is going great. So, now here's a chalice. Here's a chalice over here. Car on this is about the same thing, 220, 225 fluctuation there. And we are probably about a good 28 inches below the surface, or 28 inches below the fixture itself. And if let's say we want to get Halfway down, my par reading is uh, 170. Now this is all at 7.5 7 volts. And let's see if we can get a good one down where this coral is. Can you see the tape, the tape on this bay? You see what number I'm reading? 
what, what's this about? It's about almost uh, almost 38 inches from the LEDs to the bottom of this rock here. And I got a hundred par. So and if we go to the sand bed, you know, I'll just call it about 92, 95 par. So that that's what we really kind of want there. Um, if others have par readings that they know about, and they can explain what they're having having success with, uh, that'd be great because I don't really know what kind of corals need what certain par. But let's turn on the uh, high noon blast and see what we get then. Okay. So with the high noon blast, approximately two inches below the LEDs, I get a par reading of 1400. That is kicking something serious right there. And then at the surface, I get a par about 500. Quite a jump. You know, six inches below, seven inches below, I get a par of 700. At water surface, 500. And then just below, <laughs> it's 400. So high noon blast at this elevation. Well, let me get my arm out of the way, not blocking it. At this elevation, about 260. Yeah, 260. Uh, halfway down the rock. About 200 or 190, 190. And then again at this rock level location, this thing will point straight up without me diving in the tank. I get about 144. And then at sand level, I get about 120. So that's what it is at 7.5 volts. With the with the, uh, the par meter. Now we can kick this up to nine, or I can kick it down to you know 2.5, 3.5, whatever. But I mean that's where we're at with this. If you uh, like I said, if you have a better way of knowing what corals work out better with what elevation and how much we should get out of it so that they grow real good, then that'd be very helpful for me. Because LEDs is new to everybody, and um, any information you can give me is great. If you request it for me to do a video of a certain voltage, I will, higher or lower. But I only got one more step higher, and I have about four more lower. Just let me know, and I'll be glad to do that for you. All right? Thanks for watching.